In this tutorial, we'll give you some ideas on how to use the scratch cutter feature on the DJ MS5 during your mix. The scratch cutter is a brand new tool to help start your journey into scratching. As well as practicing the techniques on their own, you can also get an idea on how to apply them in a DJ set. Let's look at one example, scratching over a track during a DJ set. If there's a track you want to add scratching to, but you're still learning the techniques, then you can use Scratch Cutter to get an idea for how it would ultimately sound. Here we have an instrumental loaded on one deck and a scratch sample on our other deck. For this example, we'll start with pattern four in the Scratch Cutter, which is the Transformer Scratch. Press and hold FX Cut button four on the right side of the mixer. The lights on the other buttons will dim to show that you're in Scratch Cutter mode, and the button is highlighted to show that we've selected the Transformer. Firstly, we'll focus on the movement of the control vinyl. We're going to move the vinyl forwards and backwards, changing direction every beat in time with the music. Now we lock on the FX lever for the deck with the scratch sample on. Scratch cutter is now active. Then we repeat our movement with the record. The transform is now applied over the top by the scratch cutter. We can now start to add variations in our movements, going half time or double time, going faster or slower, and generating different rhythms. While we're moving the record, we can also jump to different patterns on the scratch cutter, similar to how we would use and combine different techniques when we're more used to scratching. While we're doing our original movement on the vinyl, moving forwards and backwards one beat, we can jump between buttons cut three, the original scratch, and cut four, the transformer scratch. Let's try changing the pattern every four beats. and we can change the beat fraction setting on each pattern. And we use the beat left and right buttons to make the pattern half time or double time. So all this helps to give us a flavor of scratching over a track and what it's like once we're more familiar and comfortable with the techniques. Here's another example of using a scratch cutter in your mix. You're playing one track and you want to drop a second one in. Instead of mixing it in, you want to scratch it in. So we have both tracks loaded. Track one will be playing and track two we want to scratch in. We have a nice punchy start to track two. With scratch cutter active, let's select pattern five, the one click flare and lock on the effects lever. We're going to move the control vinyl forwards and backwards four times and then release it in time with track one. So we've added an extra scratch into our track as we bring it into the mix. And finally, let's combine scratch cutter with serrato effects. Press and hold mode you'll see the Serato effects buttons light up. Whilst holding mode, choose any of the effects cut buttons. This will activate the corresponding Serato effects while Scratch Cutter is still active. You can combine multiple Serato effects by holding mode and pressing multiple FX cut buttons at the same time. To find out more, Check out our other Scratch Cutter tutorials. Yeah.